still a good strategy. There's no surprise element to it. You can just do it. So uh, again, I'm not I'm not speaking at all to balancing this strategy or you know how good or bad it is or if it should be banned or anything like that. Just just appreciating it, appreciating it as its own strategy that happens to be out there that everybody should understand. So uh, this kind of stuff here, just gonna have to retreat away. You can see that he has completely bifurcated um, Valen's territory. Uh, Valen now has one little blob here on the left and one blob on the right that's blinking and just disconnected. Uh, I didn't speak too much about these players, by the way. Von Mechacon is, I believe he's in the top 50. He's got like a 50% win rate. Uh, several hundred games, though. I thought he was around like 300 wins, 150 losses, that sort of thing. And uh, his opponent is top 5%. He's a good player. Uh, I, I think this was kind of a lopsided match. Uh, I, I can't be sure, but I think that it was probably, you know, uh, it was, de you know, definitely favoring Von Mechacon and all that sort of thing. And, uh... This isn't a good game because it's such a thrilling edge of your seat kind of play. Who's going to win? It clearly, clearly, Von Mechacon has the upper hand in this whole game. It's it's interesting because it's such a distilled version of this build order, and it really exemplifies why this is a good build and why it works. And it's an average game. And honestly, I think if you want to see a strategy and how it works and you want to see how it's going to feel on the ladder, don't see what it does against, you know, Nystrom or Inverse or all these really awesome players. Don't see how well it works against them because they're pros. They'll probably kind of see through this a little bit better than your average person will. This is a much more indicative idea of the kind of effect that this can have on people who aren't expecting it. Uh, so here comes our Rifleman moving on in. Uh, just look at this. Just look at this. Four flamethrowers from Vet 3 Pioneers just burning that entire Rifleman squad alive. Just completely taking out... Uh, meanwhile, decapping the forward racks and uh, just chopping this territory in half. You'll notice he's just going to just sl slice it in half once again. So even if somehow this, this gets connected back up, there's nothing remaining for him. Uh, one last little kind of rogue rifleman squad back here just kind of trapped behind enemy lines because <laughs> there are so many pioneers up here. But, uh, you know... You can even see Valen is just kind of laughing out loud about that. So lopsided match here, but very indicative of this strategy and worth noting uh, for sure. And just let's take a look at his army right now. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 pioneers. Uh, looks like he's activated his uh, infantry pillage right now. And they are just, just freaking drive-by flamethrowing everything in sight. Just driving them by. Woom, woom, woom. We'll see one last little wounded guy getting away, uh, getting a good amount of uh, munitions and uh, manpower out of each one of those kills. And that's that. Just kind of burning the world down. So, pretty, pretty brutal indeed. So now the name of the game is just, well, how are we going to end this here? Um, it looks like things are slowing down, and just for the sake of getting through this game, I might just speed this up a little bit because we've kind of talked about this strategy here. So let me go ahead and just 4x this up a little bit until we get another fight. It looks like he's just going to kind of cap the rest of these points, regroup his army, that sort of thing. And uh, pretty soon we'll move on to the rest of it. So like I said, know your enemy, know what's out there. And really the challenge here is... Uh, at least to allied players, um, think this through. Get the metagame going. How do you want to beat this kind of strategy? Is it going to be with machine guns? Is it going to be with snipers? Is it going to be with, you know, some just clever use of your own uh, cheesy abilities or something like that with your own engineers? You know, I, I really want people to experiment with this because this is one of those metagame kind of challenge uh, challenges where you need to just kind of say, okay, if I identify this out there, what do I do? Now you'll see, uh, it looks like uh, Valen decided to go for snipers. He back-teched into a weapon support center. Probably a little, uh, you know, too little too late there. Uh, but you'll see uh, a little bit of a miss, you know, a miss strategy, a miss macro, I suppose, on Von Mecha Khan's part. Uh, he decided uh, it would be in his best interest to just charge into this base and win big and uh, burn down this weapon support center. And, y you know, you're pinned, you're getting double sniped, you're probably losing a squad every single time these guys fire, not to mention the ones you're losing just to the uh, machine gun emplacement anyways, and you're burning down a building that doesn't need to be burned down. It's just really, just, I think he got overconfident there. And it's important to remember that even if you're winning by landslide, by the way, I didn't even point this out, this just total... Totally, totally uh, <laughs> in your face bunker ability going on here. But uh, even if you're winning huge, just, I mean, look at this thing. Look at this victory point. This victory point is burning a hole in my retina. Look at this. I'm looking at the screen, just covering my eyes. Ah, look at that giant red dot. Uh, just no reason at all that should be, especially with this many freaking pioneers lying around. There's no reason at all uh, that that should be still out there. You should just three cap the guy, wall him into his base, 
Do whatever you're going to do to end the game and be done with it. Just win normal style. You don't need to burn down his town hall and rub his face in the dirt. Just, sorry, town hall. When I get excited, I talk in terms of Warcraft 3 terms for whatever reason. So, um, you don't need to do that. Just, you know, <laughs> here we go again. I'm just trying to, like, stab on out with whatever you can get. Uh, but you'll see, you know, he's kind of, you know, just kind of stockpiling a little bit here. And, uh... Pretty soon we do have a manpower blitz. So what are, what are we doing here in the meantime? Uh, other than trying to win big and realizing that was the bad idea. What does this strategy need more than anything right now to win the game? An officer. The probably least used unit of the entire German army is a single superintendent officer. And uh, that wasn't my first choice, honestly. Honestly, I was hoping for... I'd love to see a manpower blitz going straight into uh, heavy armor reinforcement, King Tiger driving around. And I've looked at a few more of Von, uh, von Mechacon's uh, games, and that's exactly what he does. I think he, he swapped out the uh, assault reinforcements for that. But that works pretty well, too. But, uh, you know, I think what you want is late-game armor. So what's his solution instead here is to go and get a go and get an officer, and I really like what he does with it. I think it's pretty smart. But, uh, you know, a little good game come out of from Valen, but I'll go ahead and just see this through the end because I, I, I kind of like it. Uh, but this victory point here, God, just cap it. Oh, my God, just cap it. It's stabbing me in the eye. I hate it. Uh, you could totally also sneak back here and grab this fuel point. But you'll see triple snipers kind of sneaking out here now. Um, you know, not the best thing against all this, but certainly, you know, not that bad. But uh, so you'll see the superintendent comes out here. And if you're not familiar with him, he has all sorts of goofy abilities. He can force retreat and stuff like that. But he can, he can also supervise a building, increasing its production, and spamming out a stug. And seeing how good a stug is, uh, Von Mechacon fires off a uh, manpower blitz and just queues up three stugs with the superintendent supervising for their production. So we're going to see rapid, rapid deployment and have a quick army of four stugs out of nowhere. And he's just going to cram the four stugs right down this guy's throat. And that... That is an appropriate use of winning big. That's totally fine by my standards. I, I think that that is very justified, whereas running in with all these guys is not. So now this is kind of a, a weird choice here. You can see he's got a big fight going on, and this is I was a little disappointed with this fight. I think he underestimated uh, how effective the sniping would be here, because pretty much every volley takes out a unit. So he throws down a f he throws down a flare to illuminate the snipers. However, the flare it flares himself too. So uh, his armor is very exposed now, and now he's charging. Uh, looks like a group of three snipers. It was previously four, but three snipers and uh, Browning automatic rifle riflemen. And uh, what looks like one sniper's running around burning to death. Two snipers left though, and just really, really exposed, being sniped away like crazy. Uh, two kills there, eight kills there, uh, and the riflemen are all burned to death and all that. I mean, he's definitely winning this fight, but uh, if you recall earlier, he had like 15 squads of pioneers, and now we're down to five. That's ten, oh, sorry, six. But that's nine squads of pioneers. Poof, just gone. You know, I mean, also, he, he lost a bunch when he attacked in here in the first place. But So, really, that was kind of unnecessary. This was necessary. This is the appropriate way to win the game. And f why not? Drop <laughs> drop in some rocket barrages, too, just to, just to kind of end things off here. But uh, it's a pretty cool strategy. And, and I know, I know. I asterisk that with a little caveat where I explain what I mean by cool and what I, you know, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. I still like it. I still think it's effective. It's single-minded in purpose. It works well against a wide variety of units. And the challenge is out there uh, for the allies to kind of beat that. You'll notice he's even going for vet one on his stugs. But, um, you know, be creative with this. Think about, you know, what would this be like with a uh, defense commander instead. Look at that, just squishing all these, <laughs> squishing all these rangers. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, but three kills there for him just by closing on in. I'm uh, going to take out the rest of this stuff. But think about this in defense hands here. You could have, you know, uh, you know, recoup losses and for the fatherland and entrenched positions, all these great infantry abilities that just cost a little bit. And, uh, and then have your reactive artillery, and then have your AOE heal, uh, AOE heal on top of everybody. Oh, it would just you know, it'd just be ridiculously brutal. So, uh, I think there's all sorts of potential out there, and I'd love to see the Allied metagame kind of swing around and decide what they want to do, deal with this, and don't just go to the forums and say nerf this, nerf this, because you know, there's th you know, there's two sides to every story. I want to see what players have out there and where where the rest of the game is going to go. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you don't send me any death threats. I'm Harlequin Coho, and I'll see you guys next time.